What is going on guys, welcome back to another mod review and today we are going to be reviewing the mod called the Armour Status HUD mod. Now essentially what this mod does, it enables you to see the status of your armour and how much damage your armour has taken and how much time you've got left until your armour breaks. Now before in Minecraft without this mod, the only way we could see our armour and how much damage it has taken is if we press E and then it would have a little health bar underneath our helmet our uh, chest plate uh, leggings or boots like that and that's the only way we could see if our armor was going to break or how close it is to breaking with tools and etc um you could see it in your little hot bar down there because you would always have like the little health bar and stuff but this mod uh, enables you to see the health of your armor just by looking at the side of your screen now let me show you how this mod works so once you've installed the mod basically put on some armor and then you'll see, if you look at the bottom right hand corner, I have got statistics down there and the picture of my armor. Now what them numbers are, are how many hits that piece of armor has. So for example, the, hel the helmet has 364 hits left until it breaks. The chest plate 529, the leggings 496 the boots 430 so it is really nice and useful you can customize the position of where you want this mod and everything like that um, this mod also works with tools so as you can see as I'm flicking through my tools there oh let me toggle downfall as it starts to rain while I'm doing a mod review toggle downfall um, as you can see there just underneath the armor when I have a tool in my hand it also tells me how many hits that tool has so for example the the diamond sword has 1,562, the gold only has 33, that has 251, 132, 60, and what is also cool is it also works with bows. It, with the bows, it tells you I have 385 shots left and it also works with arrows. So if I fire this arrow, you can see there that the number of arrows goes down as I'm firing because that is how many arrows I've got in my inventory so it saves you a lot of time having to look in your inventory to see if your arm is damaged and to see um, how many arrows you have and stuff like that so that is really cool and it also works on other tools as well so I didn't know this I only found this out when I was testing out the mod but for example I've got my axe in my hand if I hit stuff uh, I think it only works on wood, but it does work on other tools, I promise you. Um, but let me show you a little example of the mod working and armor degrading and stuff. So I've set up this cactus to show you when I take damage. You can see the mod down there on the right hand side and the armor is updating every time I take a hit. So each piece of armor is going down and down and down every time I take a hit. So it's easy enough for you to see um, if your armor is going to break. So say you've got a really good chest plate or a really good pair of boots and you don't want to lose them and uh, they've got a really good enchantment and you want to keep them so you can repair them. Having this mod is really, really useful because you can see just before they're going to break and then you can take them off and go and repair them. Um, let me show you how it works with swords and stuff as well. I will use my gold sword. When I hit this zombie, you'll see that the sword goes down it tells you how much hits I have left one thing that's really good about this mod when the tool or the armor is really close to breaking the color will change so let me show you let me start breaking some of these leaves as you can see it's gone gray already now it's gone yellow and it's gonna go orange and then it starts to go red when it is really close to breaking and there you go it breaks so if you want to keep your armor and you want to repair it or something like that I would advise when you're using this mod uh, make sure it, when it gets to orange or something like that then you replace your armor um, you can configure this mod a lot like when I first installed this mod the um, you can't see it when I press E like that but where the armor display is right there you can change that in the config files it's very simple where well, you basically drag the mod into the mods folder and there will be a file called the config that armor hud config you go in there and it will say where do you want to display it you can bottom left top left top right bottom right and you just basically do it like that. it's very customizable and you get a lot of settings with it and you can change colors and everything like that one cool thing about this mod that i really do like is that it picks up the textures from your texture pack so whatever texture pack you are using it will uh, adapt to that texture pack so let's use flow hds here wait for that to load and you'll see that the armor and the tools all change depending on what texture pack i'm using so that's really really cool feature that it doesn't actually just stick with like the default textures and things like that uh, this is taking forever there we go so as you can see look it's updated to 
Flow HD's texture pack and now it's got Flow HD's textures, which is really cool. I really, really like it. This mod also works on servers. So if you're playing on a server, like a PVP server or something like that, and you want to a nice discreet symbol in the corner of your game telling you how many, how much armor you've got or stuff like that you can use this mod and it's nice and simple um you know me guys i like mods that are very easy and don't, uh, don't change the game too much so that is why i decided to review this mod a link to this mod will be in the description if you want to try it out for yourself um but yeah guys that is the end of the mod review i hope you enjoyed this mod i hope you go and use it i hope you go and try it out but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you again in another mod review